Algebra is an amazing part of mathematics that helps us find out many different things. Can Algebra help Asif remember the cost of the book he bought? Let's have a look. Asif and Sara each bought a book and paid a total of rupees 880 for them. Sara remembers that the cost of her book was rupees 580, but Asif does not. Let's help Asif find the cost of his book using algebra. First, let's write the total cost Asif and Sara paid for their books, rupees 880. The cost of Sara's book is rupees 580. Since we don't know the cost of Asif's book, we will denote it by the variable x. Now, write an equation for the total cost. The total cost of books is equals to Sara's book plus Asif's book. Replacing the given values in the formula, 880 is equal to 580 plus x. Isolating the variable makes the equation. Hence, the value of x is equal to 300. The value of the variable shows that the cost of Asif's book is 300 rupees. Now that I know the cost of my book, can you help me solve another problem, Sara? Sure. What's the problem? My friend told me that his rectangular garden's perimeter is 240 meters and the width was double the length. What do you think is the length and width of his garden? Let's help Sara and Asif with this problem. We will write the given information first. The perimeter of the rectangular garden is equal to 240 meters. We know that the width is double the length, but we don't know the values of either side. So, we will assume the length is equal to x meters. Since the width of the rectangular garden is double the length, it is equal to 2x meters. We know that the perimeter of a rectangular shape is equal to 2 times the length added to the width. Replacing the values in this formula and solving, we get 240 meters is equal to 2 multiplied by x plus 2x. Adding the like terms in the brackets, we get 2 multiplied by 3x which is equal to 6x. If 6x is equal to 240, x is equal to 40. This means that the length of the rectangular garden x is equal to 40 meters. Since the width is double the length, the width is equal to 2 multiplied by 40, which is equal to 80 meters. We can also verify the values by substituting the calculated values in the formula for the perimeter. We know that the perimeter is equal to 2 multiplied by the sum of the length and width. 240 is equal to 2 times 40 plus 80. Solving it further gives 240 equal to 2 times 120. Finally, we get 240 equals to 240. Since the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side, therefore the calculated values are correct. Time for an exercise. Ali buys X number of chocolates. The chocolates cost him 400 rupees in total. If each chocolate costs 40 rupees, how many chocolates did Ali buy? Ali buys X number of chocolates. The total money spent is equal to 400 rupees and the cost of each chocolate is equal to 40 rupees. We write a formula from the given information. The number of chocolates is equal to the total money divided by the cost of each chocolate. Now, we add the values to the formula. x is equal to 400 divided by 40, which means that x is equal to 10. So, Ali bought 10 chocolates. Let's look at another question. A car travels from A to C, covering a total distance of 130 kilometers. The car makes the journey from A to B first, then from B to C. The distance from A to B is 90 kilometers, while the distance from B to C is Y kilometers. What is the distance from B to C 
in kilometers. Since the total distance A to C is equal to 130 kilometers, the distance of A to B is equal to 90 kilometers, and the distance of B to C is equal to y kilometers. We know that the total distance A to C is equal to the distance from A to B added to the distance from B to C. Placing the values in the formula, 130 is equal to 90 plus y. Flipping the equation, we get y plus 90 is equal to 130, which means that y is equal to 130 minus 90. Hence, y is equal to 40 which means that the distance from B to C is equal to 40 kilometers. Let's summarize. Today we learned algebra can be used in daily life to find the value of any unknown number. Variables are usually denoted by lowercase alphabets such as X and Y. We can check if the calculated values are correct by placing them in the formula again. If the left-hand side of the equation is equal to the right-hand side, then the calculated values are correct.